Hey everybody, Metal Gamer Geek here. Welcome to Let's Play Crypt Custodian. All right, brand new save. Uh, let's do normal. First time playing since we played the demo a while ago. That's right, I'm a kitty cat who goes to the afterlife. I forget what happened to me that put me in the afterlife. I guess it was an accident? Car hit me? From that little bit of uh cutscene right there. Oh hello. Hello. Hello? Oh, you're awake. My name is Pip and I will be your guide to the palace. Wait, what? The palace? I was just outside on the street. Where am I? Oh, the palace is the most beautiful part of the afterlife, but we aren't there yet. This is just the entryway. It's where all new ghosts first land. Ghosts? So I'm dead? Oh, well, yeah, sorry. I should have left with that part. Don't worry too much about that just yet. We have to get moving. Nearby is Kendra. She is the guardian of the afterlife. You'll have to make your way to her chambers, and she will listen to your life story and determine whether or not you can enter the palace. Good ghosts go to the palace, wherever they experience, where they experience never-ending bliss. Bad ghosts are banished to live outside the palace for all eternity. Come on, you should get going. Have a jump. I bet I see another cat come in here. I mean, in spite of the circumstances, at least. Most of the ghosts who come in here are bugs, which don't really give us that much to talk about. All right. I remember this. Yeah, you have to walk through here, and your path is blocked by a bunch of vases. Vases? So it's like... Everything's going well for you. I'll, I'll let the story play out. Jump! Yeah, tutorial time! Oh, I'll come back here. At least, in th at least in this game, you can't accidentally walk off the ledge, or your character doesn't seemingly want to run off the ledge. Here's the map, right? Right. Hey, so what's it like inside the palace? Oh, well, I'm actually not sure. I've never been inside there. You haven't? Were you bad or something? I guess I must have been, because Kendra said so. But instead of banishing me to live outside the palace, she sentenced me to be a guide for all eternity. You see, Kendra can be very strict, but also very fair. She makes the rules and she always sticks to them, no matter what. But don't worry too much about all that. I'm sure she will let you into the palace. She's bound to let someone in there one of these days. Oh wait, so nobody goes in? Oh. boom, boom, boom. My custodial tool. You find a broom. Swing it by pressing X. Sweet. Attack. We have jump attacks. And we're in the water. Break all the things. Can I break this? Yes. I don't know why, but it's just satisfying to break all the things. Hit the thing, switch the lever, now the platforms move. Smash. Where we started. Oh, now I can go this way because I can break things. Right. That is a satisfying break noise for both the vase and the columns.
the vase. Hey, you made it. Kendra's chamber is right inside here. Just be on your best behavior because you really don't want to be on her bad side. Good luck in there. All right. An odd shaped door. Oh, that's right. She's like a giant frog. I think. Hello. Oh, hey, little guy. It's so nice to see another fresh face around here. I'm the famous Kendra, guardian of the afterlife. It's my job to determine whether you've been good or bad. Oh, and sorry that you died and all that, by the way. It just makes me so sad. Over here is the door that leads to the palace. Those allowed in the palace experience never-ending bliss. If you've been good, I'll let you inside. And this door leads outside of the palace. You really do not want to be sent out this door. Well, enough to chat. Let's take a look at your life. The book. Oh no. It says you were born as a stray, and you had a brother and a sister. So cute! And then it seems like you were adopted by a nice couple, and they took really good care of you. You love to sleep and get pet. Wow, I'm having a really good feeling about this one. Pip, can you please prepare the palace door for opening? Anyways, let's continue. And then one night, it seems you like you escaped from your home, ran into the street, and... You poor thing. Well, I guess that settles it then. You were a very good cat. I have no choice but to let you into the palace. Or, uh, wait a second. There seems to be another page? <laughs> this says that after you died, you landed in the palace and you smashed some of my statues? This is just awful. I'm afraid that you've been a very bad cat, and as punishment, you'll be banished outside of the palace for eternity. Wait, I didn't mean to do it. I just thought that's what I was supposed to do. You thought you were supposed to break my statues? Sorry, that excuse is not going to cut it. I do feel for you, though. If you think this sucks for you, just think about how I feel. I'm the one who has to live with the guilt of sentencing you to eternal torture. Well, enough wallowing. It's time to go. Oh, and because you created such a mess, I'm going to also be sentencing you to be the afterlife's janitor forever. So hold on to that broom. Now it's time to leave. Please exit to on the door to your left. Wait, is there anything I could do? I really don't want to be doomed forever. Sorry, little guy, that's just the way this works. Plus, if I just let you into the palace, that would be totally unfair to all the other ga the ghosts that I doomed. Alright, so it's just a repeat. It's a loop. Let me in! Sorry you didn't make it into the palace. I really thought you could do it. You didn't tell me otherwise. You know what? Here. If you're going to call me a bad kitty, I'll live up to the name. She only cared about the statues. It wasn't so much the, the, the vase. Dig that. It banished from the palace. Okay. What's this? Is this garbage? That current is trash. The currency of this game? I forget. That's so. I'd love it. Uh, go this way. Smash. Look at all this trash. Where am I supposed to be going, technically? Well, that's a cat shrine. It's not a frog shrine. We keep the cat shrines. Or I am a cat. Where are you? Oh. Waypoints. Save. Nice. Or checkpoints, not waypoints. Checkpoints. Requires one key to unlock, which I have zero of. Smashing. All I have is X to smash. That seems like it's gonna hurt. Where would one go? Left and down. Okay.
Large roll. There seems to be a, there's a switch over there. I wonder what that's for. We'll find out. Uh, oh, yeah. Trash. That put me here. So the is that telling me that the key is here? I think so. So I have to go all the way up. Oh, hello. What else did that raise up? Does it doesn't show you on here, does it? Uh, I wanted to see if there's a zoom. X to zoom. Oh, that's it. Oh, okay. I really want to upgrade my attacks to be stronger. Okay, we don't like that. Six hits for those guys, five hits for the pots. Okay. We really don't like this guy. Give me all your trash. Alright, so we need to go down, not this way. This way? Nope. Oh, uh, what happens when I get zero health? I know I, I... Can you die again in the afterlife? That don't make no sense. These guys kill them. The gate opens up. Trash. Ah, the key. That's the way back, but I want to check out what's over here before we go back to where we have to use the key. Oh. Oh, they come back. Good. To know for the future that those are like one touch okay what is that giant the next to the top left where my health is there's a uh, little va like a little jar what what is the jar what's the jar what is that how do i use it equip i have nothing to equip Unlock. This is a bar, that's right. The sinner's in. Hello? Marley, kid. Uh, welcome to the sinner's in. How's it going? I mean, kind of bad, actually. I just died and got sentenced to clean for all eternity. Haven't we all? Well, if it, ain't, if it makes you feel any better, it's actually not too bad here. If you ask me, us bad ghosts are more fun anyway. I'm Marla, by the way. I sell all sorts of things here, so whenever you collect enough garbage, make sure to stop back in here and buy something. And I'll tell you what, as a welcoming gift, I'll even sell you your first special attack at a massive discount. Called well, Super Sweep. Go on and pick it up. For a dollar? Yeah. Both special attacks and upgrades need to be equipped at save shrines. There's just one just outside. When you attack enemies, the vessel at the top left of your screen will fill up. Oh, that's what that is. 
When it's full, press B to use your special attack. Remember to head to the nearest shrine to equip your new attack. You can teleport between shrines, so be sure to come back and visit whenever you collect more garbage to spend. What can I get for you? I have 884. Nothing! What's this thing? Major marker adds an icon to your map which tells you where to go next. Ooh, item marker. Marks the location of an item on your map that you missed from a previous room. If you get stuck and you have enough garbage, you can do that. That old thing. It works, but I've lost all the discs. If you find any, you can bring them back to the jukebox and I can pay you for them. Okay, so find collectibles. Hello, little mouse. Killer G in here. This area is for VIPs only. I've never even seen you before, so you can't be that important. Now scram! What a rude little mouse. I don't remember a VIP section in the demo. Doesn't mean it wasn't there, I just have a terrible memory. So, equip my special attack. I'm gonna use it in the fight, I'm not gonna use it now. Do, do, do. I could also get that other thing that was 900, right? Why don't I do that right now? Hello, Marla. What can I get for you? Spirit buffer. Creates a circle around you that hurts nearby enemies. Um, I like that. Nice doing business with you. Okay, let's see what happened. I have four or four points. Okay, equip a special attack. So this is... Oh, yes. Yes. Alright, we're going up. We elect Kendra for Overseer of the Afro. So there's elections here? So she campaigns in the place that she damned everybody to suffer forever to be re-elected. That just seems weird. I think I'm better at uh, not taking damage. That would be wonderful, actually. Uh, keep going. Ooh. So we're here. Let's go up this way because it's right the edge. It's right here. I wonder if you get like an achievement for breaking a certain amount of uh, items. I don't want to die. It's very satisfying collecting the garbage. Oh yeah, I have the sweep. I don't even know what it does. Well, now I know what happens when you die. I guess I go back to here from where I last saved. Can I see what my uh, garbage is? Well, now that I'm here, let's see if I can sell you a disc. Hold on. Do I have it on me? I do. Okay, so that's good. Okay, so you just go back to your last um, checkpoint and you keep the garbage and the items you collected. So the only thing you lose is pro like like map progress 
You don't really lose, like, your items and your... Okay. We were going this way. I guess that means you could kind of, like, farm, uh, items or farm, uh, garbage. I disagree. I hit roll. Now this opens up. Um, I mean, I guess it all connects anyway. Go this way. I think this is where I was when I died. Right, so they shoot. Even after they die? That's tricky. Well, let's go this way. Do, do, do. Oh, uh, arena. Six hits. Oh, he slams the ground. Okay. Nice. Get all that trash. Okay, so that's a much easier way to get up here. From that side. And then... What are you? I feel like I'm going somewhere I'm not supposed to yet. Pearl's Shrine? Is that what's his face? Hey, sorry to scare you. I was just up in the rafters sweeping up some grime. This whole cavern is a shrine to dedicated to Pearl, the most beautiful frog to ever live. I'm a bit embarrassed to say to see it getting so dirty, so I'm trying to clean the whole place up. Oh, are you a janitor too? No, I'm just a frog. But Kendra did sentence me to clean up the afterlife for all eternity. She sentences everyone to that same fate, although most ghosts just stop cleaning after a while. Anyways, my name is Pebble. And I'll be around here cleaning for a bit, so I'll see you around. Did you say every ghost is a janitor? Yeah, every ghost here has been sentenced to clean for eternity. You'd think that after a while this place would actually start to look clean, but the garbage keeps flowing in. I wonder if it's from those goody two-shoes at the palace. Just dumping their trash. On us poor, poor damned souls. Because nobody told me that I can't smash a shrine or a statue. Now I gotta clean up everybody's trash. What is this? Oh yeah. I remember these puzzles. Let's just do the fight. Okay, so you shoot little bouncy uh, projectiles. Okay, so you smash the ground. Back to a decent amount of trash. And I'm dead. Got him, though. <laughs> Definitely got him. 
All right, let's see what we can do here. So it only always brings you back to the Sinner's Inn? Bars five. So how do I get more points? Well, I do have this I can go to. Before I go here, you know what I want to do? I want to check out that other area that I was at. Because going up here, I had to kill three archers to open a gate that I never went through. I, I'm, I'm assuming Pearl is the way I have to go. But I don't know, man. Give me all your trash. We didn't go this way before. Oh yeah, fight time. That's a lot of enemies. Oof. Oh. Are we about to bite it again? I'm constantly at low health. <laughs> I think I need uh, an armor upgrade if that exists in this game. So this brings me back down here. What's down here? Upgrade point. Uh, collecting upgrade points allows you to equip more upgrades. Oh. Now I have five. That answers that question I was just about to pose or I already posed. Sometimes I don't know if I actually ask the question that's in my head or if I just think it. And I think I say it. Because I know the next one I can go buy from the Sinner's Inn is a five point uh, upgrade. I was wondering how I do that. Do I buy them with trash? What are you? Defeat a horde of enemies without taking any damage. Sure. Because I only have one point anyway. Nope. Challenge lost. Oh, I could do it again. Too bad. Look at all. Oh, and I got an upgrade point. Okay, so challenges are worth it. Always worth it. Ouch. It's also been the only time I've seen health drop on the map. been here already. The amount of exploration in this game is wonderful. We went that way. We want to go to the left side. wish there was more fast travel. What is that underneath everything? That's creepy. What? 
Dead Man's Curse. Enemies will create a dangerous blast upon death. Defeat 15 enemies. Remove the curse. Sure, why not? It's like an extra challenge. What's up here? Ah. My health is locked because of the curse. Well, that's lovely. Who are you? Have you seen any of my children? Please free them from their vessels and I will reward you. That's weird. So this is them. Okay. Now we have another teleport, but I only have one health. Look at all that trash. Oh! Spirit. So that's what we gotta do. So wait. Now if I go back to the cat lady or the cat vessel queen person. What's their name? I don't even know. Each one of them gives me trash. Okay. Let's go back to here. And buy some stuff. Um, fresh start, make attacks. Most, ooh, that's actually pretty good. But I don't stay at full health for too long, so I'm going to hold on to this. Major marker? Anything here? Sure. Next location marked on the map. Cool. And then... Oh, I missed things. Okay. Telling port to here. What did I miss here? It's in this zone? Go down there. Are you telling me that this guy here is exactly what we meant? Oh, because I didn't finish it. Okay. Then over to here in Pearl Shrine. But there's still that other spot that was opened up. Don't take any damage. Well, that's going to be fun in an arena situation. And I walk right into it. Well, I got defeated by the curse. Okay. Well, I guess it brought me back to there. So I think the spot that I had to open up was this. So I think I did everything I can here. Yeah, let's go to Pearl Shrine. And continue. I know it tells me I have to go to the top. But they have the hands. It's just the whole thing about learning what the enemy's attacks are and how they move and everything that I still have to acclimate to. And I need to do something to obviously bring it down. Anything else I can do over here? No, but if... Oh, hold on a second. What's to the left? There's a whole section to the left. Never mind. There isn't. I do like that I could just teleport from wherever. So that whole section is done. Up here, there's really nothing I can do. 
Or, yeah, because that's locked. So we go straight across. And this is all. Okay, so I have to hit this. I just have to hit them. I don't have to keep it stationary, like stuck on it. it. Just has to actually. What are you? Ditch effort makes attacks thirty percent stronger on low health. Yes. If I have six, I could do st stronger at full health and at low health. That seems like the move, buddy. Okay, so there's a gate down here. I think I saw the switch over here. Do I just hit it like this? Yes. Yes, you do. There's never anything in these where I was before, right? Yeah. Didn't want to push that button. Can I jump? Oh, I can jump to avoid. I don't have to just keep dodge rolling everywhere. Good information. Yeah, I remember that. Oh, great. That wasn't too bad. Feed a hundred enemies. Uh, right. Ooh, a key. That was one of the special the, the items I missed. Of, ooh, and an upgrade. That brings us back to here. There was a spot down here it looks like I missed going to. Boy, howdy, do I hate having to redo things. Let me tell you what. Is this a... Oh, Pebble live with Pearl in a rainy bot. Oh. That's why they want to take care of the... Uh... Wait a minute. Am I getting... I 
it did get some trash from breaking those pieces. So that's that piece. This is all done, except for that I think I couldn't cross over. Now I have the key to open that up. Let's go. Hey there, Pebble. I just love this statue. I think it looks just like her. Did you know her? I did, and I miss her so much. You see, in frog culture, dying is one of the saddest things that can happen to someone. Now that I'm dead, I worry about her a lot. I just hope she's okay. Anyways, I guess I gotta get back to cleaning. Okay. Get out of here, bugs. This way connects to over here. Oh. I move faster than the fireballs. Troublesome. And we have this little contraption. Hit it down, up, down, up. It'll come to here, so I have to stand right here and smack it down. Or just do that. Send it back, and then do the same thing over here. If I smack it up into here... Yeah. Let's go. Keep using B to dodge roll. Can I change that? Like that better. Oh, hello, extra precarious situation. Get all that trash. Um, okay. What did that just do? I have zero idea what just happened there. Uh, oh, this probably. Then we hop off. I do like that it shows me all of the fire that's happening on the map. When I go into the map. Oh, this is gonna be a great time.
Okay, good. Use a trail of mines behind you that hurt enemies who step on them. Special attacks can be equipped. Oh! That's a new special attack. Good to know. Alright, so we go up top now. So I can hit that dude, that little stompy dude, while he's in the middle of a jump. Also, oh, markers. Oh. Okay. Um. I just connected those pieces. jump there. I disagree with that. Uh, another bell. So, I didn't see any way to, like, upgrade my attacks. Outside of those, uh... Like, there's no RPG stats, like, you know, strength, defense kind of thing, but there is stuff to oh crap okay I didn't I didn't see anything in the sinners lounge or whatever that was the sinners in to increase my health to come down here just come up here bounce off this oh got it I'm getting these upgrade points pretty, uh, pretty, pretty quickly. Wait out for that tentacle attack. Photograph. She heard a loud noise from above. She looked up and... That's how Pebble bought the farm. Pebble's other photo is somewhere on here to fill in the gap of their story. Wonder if each of those groups of three is another story that I'm gonna learn about the people of here. Of course, now that I switched to B as my dodge roll. Silly muscle memory. Alright, so we go up. Let's 
go. I assume we just do one of these. No! We were so far along too. 1850. Let's let's equip things and Next attacks. Yeah, let's do this. Take that off. We'll go to the sinners. The sinners in, right? Yeah, the weeping wastes. I think we have enough to buy this one. Yeah. Now we go to the save shrine. Did I get any more? No. So now I'm stronger at... Yeah, I'm stronger at full health and low health, which is typically... I'm at one of those spots more often than not. Alright, so we were... Here. There we are. And we have to go and redo, retrace all of these steps. Uh, to the north, then the right, then the north. Then the right. Oh, trash. Bullish is trash. Hello again. So it's the same conversation every time. Okay. To the right. Don't singe your tail hair. This is all done already. Do 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 do. to the top, okay. What? So we go up here. This way, right? Get out of here, bees. So they shoot it out at that point. Okay, that was my mistake. I thought they shot it out at a different hit. Okay, okay. No one to blame but myself on that one. Let's go. Now you made me angry. You're not gonna like me when I'm angry. Told you. Constantly at low health. <laughs> oh. Perfect. Save. Um, hmm. Let's see what's over here first. Anything good? Nope. 
I thought maybe that did the trick. Oh, this brings us back here. Okay, so that opens up that way. A little bit easier. How do I open up this thing over here? Does that look like another power up, right? There's a switch there. Maybe I do something later on and I get dropped there somehow? I don't know. That only goes from this side to this side. Is there anything I can do up top over here? Seeing if I could reflect the shots back, and no, you cannot. Right, I can't get to that. Alright, so yeah, we take this over to here. Trash. Delicious trash. I feel like sometimes the, these things have trash in them, sometimes they don't. Save again. I think what we're going to do is we're going to call the episode here. Because uh, that's a decent that's a decent amount of progress done for the first episode of Let's Play Crypt Custodian. Uh, but yeah, if you liked the video, drop a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you're not already subbed to the channel. And ring the notification bell to get alerted when I post more content here on YouTube. Uh, leave comments, share the video, share the channel. It's the best way to support what I'm doing, and I really do appreciate it. But until next time, take care, have a good one, and I'll see you soon.